What, what church do we have now? What was the church he set up? He started his own church. Thank you. Well done. House point seven feet. and I'm head of school here at Cornwallis. I'm absolutely delighted to warmly welcome you to our Year 6 information evening. Due to the delaying of restrictions, sadly, we aren't currently able to meet with you in person. However, we hope that this virtual evening will provide you with key information to support you and your child in preparation for joining us in September. Our aim of this evening is to cover our transition support, school expectations, academic support for our students, our scholarship programmes, and most excitingly, you'll hear from two of our current students who will share with you just what it's like to be a Cornwallis student. I feel so privileged and honoured to be welcoming you to this fantastic school and beginning the journey with you. No doubt you are full of uncertainties and anxieties about how you'll begin on the first day, what you will experience, and ultimately, what you will learn from the school. What we can promise you is an unswerving dedication from a talented group of staff and students who believe passionately in giving the best opportunities to all of the young people within our school, and also you as parents and carers. At Cornwallis, we arrive to school each day with a Cornwallis smile. Not just a physical smile, but it's about what it represents. We want all of our students to be successful, motivated, inspired, learning and excited and engaged. 
Most importantly, we support everyone to be the best they can be by having ambitions for all. All that's left for me to say is that I can't wait to meet you in person in September and I wish you all a lovely summer break. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Hodges, one of my deputy head teachers, who will provide you more information on our transition process. Thank you for listening. I'm Miss Hodges. I'm deputy head and have had the pleasure of heading up the chat transition process for the last few years. Tonight is an information evening and there will be lots of it. So we'll make this video available online after the broadcast for you to refer back to should you need it. I'd like to start by thanking you for entrusting us with the next seven years of your child's education. We fully understand the gravitas of the next phase of learning and the importance it plays in shaping your child's adult life. We know that no two students are the same at Cornwallis. We pride ourselves on being able to adapt and differentiate to fully meet the needs of all of our students. Tonight is part of a comprehensive programme designed to ensure your child is prepared, confident and hopefully excited about joining Cornwallis. We're sad that we are unable to invite you into the building this evening and look forward to being able to do so next week for the transition interviews. Our transition programme begins in Year 5 with our outreach scheme in which we invite Year 5s into Cornwallis to take part in subject-specific workshops after school. This is designed to cultivate a passion for studying at a higher level. It enables students to familiarise themselves with the school and begin to form relationships with our staff and understand our expectations. In Year 6, there are a series of open mornings and an open evening to give an insight into the day-to-day -day life at Cornwallis. Despite the many changes and restrictions to this year's transition, it was lovely to see some of you on last week's tours. And we hope that this, alongside the website, has been beneficial and given you some insight into life at Cornwallis. As part of my role, along with my team, I've had the privilege of meeting many of the New Year Sevens during our primary visits. During these visits, students are shown pictures of the school, explained bus routes, cashless systems, homework, timings of the day and much more. I personally was impressed with the maturity displayed by our future students and thought given to many of the questions asked. I have high hopes for the class of 2028. During these visits, our staff have also had the opportunity to meet with your child's current teachers and or SENCO and get a comprehensive picture of each of the individuals joining us in September. So what's next? By now, you will have received an email informing you of the time that you will be meeting with a member of the senior leadership team next week. This is a wonderful forum for you to ask questions and discuss your child's needs in more detail. Please do bring your child with you if you feel it is appropriate. The student voice is important to us and we want to be able to listen to them about their education. On 6th and 7th of September, students become Cornwall students. These two days will serve as their transition days and the school will be closed to all students in other year groups. This is to allow time for students to familiarise themselves with their new school whilst the school is quiet and staff are on hand to give them personalised support. Your son or daughter will participate in a range of subjects and will get to meet their form tutor and form groups and hopefully begin to forge friendships that will last a lifetime. During these induction days, your child will be tested in spelling, literacy and numeracy. This is to give us more information about academic ability and identify those in need of extra support and indicate high achievers. These tests allow for us to meet your child's needs and should not be a cause of concern or anxiety for anyone. Our SENCO will give you more information on this shortly. For our most able students, we will enrol them onto a stretch and challenge scheme, which Ms Hurley will touch on shortly. If your child is one of the many who falls in between these two categories, please rest assured they are equally monitored, nurtured, and challenged by their form tutor and classroom teachers. As I mentioned, we know that no two students are the same. This whole program allows for us to get to know all of our students as individuals to ensure that their transition from primary to secondary school is as smooth as possible. 
we also understand that this is a daunting process for you as parents. I've been asking parents how they felt about the transition of their child. Apprehensive, sad, overwhelmed, and very confused by teacher acronyms and jargon. They were some of the responses. You are all in the same boat. You will all have questions and you will all at some point be confused by new processes and policies. Please do use opportunities such as next week to ask questions. The first thing to acknowledge as a parent is that your anxiety, however understandable, is yours. Do everything possible to make sure it's not transferred to your child. It's absolutely essential that you maintain a positive mindset. Fortunately, there's plenty you can do to help your child prepare. Most children will be a little apprehensive about starting new school, but they're naturally excited too. So use that excitement. Celebrate every milestone on the road to September, such as buying the uniform or stationery, mapping out the route to school, and perhaps even doing a few dry runs. Your child will officially become a member of Cornwallis on Monday the 6th of September. I'd advise that they are at school by at least 8.20 a.m., ready to begin their school day at 8.30. On the first day, they will enter through the front doors and go straight to the lecture theatre. If you're dropping your child at school, please note you are not able to drive into the car park and be prepared for how busy it can be. As secondary students, we would not expect parents to escort them into school, even though many of you will always view them as your baby as of September, they are young adults. On our website, you will find lots of resources and advice on transition and how you can support further. Miss Harding will also email you before the start of term with the first day arrangements and reminders. Before I hand over, I'd just like to mention our parent council. If you have an interest in joining, I would love to speak to you next week at the transition interviews. Alternatively, please feel free to email me. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Harding, Head of Year 7. Good evening. For those of you I am yet to meet, I'm Miss Harding and I'm the Head of Year 7. My main roles are to oversee the Year 7 community, monitor your academic progress and to support you with your general wellbeing. I will also oversee our team of Year 7 form tutors, who you will see on a daily basis. Working alongside me is Mr. Cabell, who is the Year 7 Student Support Manager and designated to supporting the Year 7 team. As Ms. Hodges has mentioned, on the 5th of July, you will be welcomed into the Academy to meet a member of the team. This will be a chance for you to raise any concerns and receive important information. This will also be a time for us to check that you have signed the Home School Agreement. Now, our home school agreement is an education partnership agreement between parents and carers, students and teachers. This document outlines parents, students and school responsibilities. Cornwallis Academy is a caring school that works together with parents to promote positive relationships, equal opportunities, strong moral values and a resilient attitude to learning, which allows every student to reach their full potential. We have a number of key aims for the year ahead. Firstly, our main priority is for you to have a smooth and successful transition. This has already begun um, with myself and other members of staff visiting students, schools and getting to know them. We have high expectations for all students in all areas, including achievement, behaviour, uniform and attendance. It is vital that students in the correct uniform all of the time adhering to our behaviour policies um, so that we can focus on their progress and achievements. Here at Cornwallis, we work hard to build resilience in our students. We work with our students to enable them to recover quickly from any setbacks. As the head of Year 7, I believe that each and every student can be successful. I believe that if you believe, you can achieve. So a typical day at Cornwallis. So it will begin with all students arriving by 8.20 and you will line up in the Year 7 zone. Students will then be escorted to their form rooms where they will be registered um, and then the school day will start at 
Form time will be a 25 minute session where students will participate in wellbeing tasks and speak to their form tutors about any concerns. The day will then comprise of five one hour lessons with a 20 minute break time and a 40 minute lunch to break up the day. The day will then end at 2.55 unless students are participating in after school activities which normally run from 3 till 4 p.m. I believe that attendance is key to all success. The expectation is that every student attends every day and should aim for 100% attendance. It has been proven that there is a positive correlation between high attendance and high attainment achievement in young people. We have students who make expected and exceed progress due to this. All holidays during term time will be unauthorised, which will reflect on progress, sense of belonging and value of education. So please take holidays during the school holiday. We have a real focus on rewarding and awarding our students here at Cornwall Academy. There are a number of ways we reward students, um, and this includes e-praise to reward house points, arranging reward trips, and inviting students to have lunch with the head of school. As I already mentioned, we offer a wide variety of extracurricular opportunities after school. These include homework club, sports club, performing arts clubs, art, English, maths, and many, many more. Mr. King will be giving you more information on some exciting opportunities later on. We have a number of important dates for your diary. So, as already mentioned, um, on Monday the 5th of July, we'll be holding our transition support meeting. On the 6th and 7th of September will be the Year 7 induction days, with Wednesday the 8th of September being the start of term for all year groups. Unfortunately, we've not been able to invite students into our school this term. However, we will be holding our induction days on the 6th and 7th of September, where students will meet their form tutors, meet all the other students in their form, um, and take part in a number of fun-filled activities. All students will be required attend your full Cornwallis school uniform and bring a pair of trainers with them in order to uh, take part in practical activities, including a treasure hunt around the school. By this time, you will have received information on our online uh, payment system and biometric system, so students will be able to purchase food this way and but can bring a packed lunch as well if they would like. It is vital that all students come well equipped to school. Therefore, the expectation is that students have a sensible school bag in order to sort books, PE kit, pens, pencils, etc. Students will also receive um, a planner, which they will write their timetables into. And this will be a method of communication between the school and home. This will be checked weekly by form tutors, and we ask that parents do the same. The expectation is that all students wear the correct full school uniform, including the PE kit. And this can be purchased uh, from Simmons Limited, who are currently offering um, a 10% discount. I'm really looking forward to welcoming our Year 7 students in September, and I hope to see you all at summer school. I will now pass on uh, over to our SENCO, Miss Alton. Good evening, I am Miss Alton, the new SENCO at Cornwallis Academy. I'm very excited about meeting you all and welcoming you to our new school. As New Year 7 being the first few days of transition, we will do some assessments that inform us of your reading and spelling ability. Any students with a below average score are selected for a supportive intervention group where they will take part in a literacy program with an SEM teacher for one hour a week. Areas of weakness are then identified and targeted. Dependent on need, it may also be necessary to be involved in small group interventions for intensive literacy skill development. Student spelling and reading ages are assessed terminally, and there is currently a 93% success rate for improvement in one or more areas. Currently, we are involved in a transition program with all three of the primary schools, and then this involves us meeting with Year 6 teachers and SENCOs, and we will gather all SEM information to ensure we have everything in place for your children in Year 7. We will compile SEM profiles for all students along the SEM register, which is shared with staff ready for their lessons with them in September. We have iPads for those students who demonstrate reading to this, and reading pens to assist further independent learning in preparations for exams. 
Thank you for listening. I am now going to pass you over to Miss Hurley. Good evening. I'm Mrs. Hurley, and I'm one of the assistant head teachers at Cornwall Academy. One of my responsibilities is making sure that our higher attaining students achieve their full potential academically, and I also create opportunities for students to develop their leadership skills. As you've already seen this evening, we are very proud of the support that we can offer our students that sometimes struggle with their studies. However, we also recognise that we have a large number of high performing students who want to be challenged academically. Parents of high attaining students tell us that they want their child to benefit from high academic standards and the opportunity to study with students of a similar level of performance. At Cornwallis, we stream all of our students in English, Maths and Science from Term 2 and Year 7. This means that all of our students have Term 1 to settle into their new secondary school, but it also gives our teachers the opportunity to get to know each of their students before we make any decisions about which set is best suited to their ability. We formally assess all students three times a year, and these results are used to make any necessary set changes to ensure every student is in the right place for them. In addition to this, we are committed to providing our most able students with enrichment opportunities and classroom experiences that deepen and broaden their understanding. Our aim is for our most able students to leave us with a collection of grades sevens, eights and nines, which are equivalent to the old A to A star grades. We ask our English and Maths teachers to identify our high performers in Year 7 and 8 and these students are put onto a specific academic programme called Mabel. These students receive an additional lesson each week which is taught by our English and Maths A-level teachers. These teachers fully understand how to stretch and challenge our students and how best to equip them with the knowledge and skills needed to be successful at A-level. Our academic programme allows our high attaining students to experience the right blend of outstanding teaching, consistently high expectations and individualised guidance and support. As well as ensuring academic results, we also want to develop our students' leadership skills. Each year we select our most talented students in the EVAC subjects, which are English, Maths, Science, History, Geography and the Modern Foreign Languages. These students are then appointed as subject ambassadors. You will meet Adarin Sola, one of our ambassadors of English, later on this evening. All of our subject ambassadors spend an academic year creating a portfolio of evidence that demonstrates the key skills that young people need to be successful leaders. Once this portfolio is submitted, they are awarded either bronze, silver or gold status in an, an, in an accredited student leadership national programme. This opportunity provides these students with valuable evidence that can be used when applying for colleges, universities and jobs in the future. We also use our school house structure to create other leadership roles for our students. At the beginning of Year 7, each form group is assigned to one of our six houses, Cobham, Preston, Knowlton, Scotney, Bradbourne and Chartwell. Each student will be given a house badge, you can see I'm wearing my blue badge for Preston. Each year we recruit a head boy and a head girl from the sixth form alongside six heads of house. We then recruit house representatives from each year group to create a student leadership team for each house. All of these students attend our student voice meetings and it is their job to speak to their fellow students, listen to their concerns and feed these back in the meetings so positive changes can be made. Our house representatives also help to run our fundraising events and to make sure that their house is fully represented at school events, such as our sports day. So that's a short summary of some of the academic opportunities we offer our students. I hope the information has been useful and I thank you very much for listening. I'll now pass over to Mr King. Hello, I'm Mr King and I'm leader of the School Scholarship Programme. Cornwall's Academy Scholarship Programmes offer our talented students a pathway to strengthen and develop their skills. Students are provided with high quality teaching, coaching and experiences that enable them to explore and progress their abilities. Cornwall Academy offers scholarship programmes in art, dance and football. It is important to emphasise that applicants must consistently display a great attitude, behaviour, work ethic and respect in school. School excellence is a priority and all scholars must be able to meet the school's high standards 
and expectations every day. It is essential that they exhibit the smart ethos of the school, demonstrating these key traits in everything they do. We know that to have the best opportunity to progress, students need to show passion and enthusiasm for their subject. This includes them showing full commitment to the opportunities that are offered to them and giving their very best efforts. Our art scholarship. Applications are, applications are invited from students who are passionate about art and have good visual awareness. In the Cornwallis Art Department, we are ambitious for students who excel visually to have opportunities to be nurtured and supported. We will work with specialist art teachers who will encourage you to try new things and stretch your abilities. Each week, you will work in the dedicated art rooms, learning about art, craft and design, looking at a wide range of exciting artists and experimenting with materials. You will be provided with your own specialist equipment to help you explore your passion further. We hope that these focused workshops will give you the confidence and ability to express your ideas and prepare you for exceptional outcomes in GCSE, A-level and higher education. The criteria for the application, we ask that you submit one piece of artwork in any format and one page of ideas to show how your piece developed in response to one of the following themes. A view through a window, cultures of the world, nature. What we would like to see is creativity, ability, commitment, and a personal response. There is no restriction on how you decide to respond. You could work in 2D or 3D. Your outcome can be imaginative or observational. Our dance scholarship programme. If your child is successful in obtaining a place in the specialist dance programme, they will receive a full Cornwallis dance kit, an extra hour a week of dance built into the curriculum, after school technique classes and coaching to complete their sports leaders qualification in dance. The program is delivered by a dance specialist who is a visiting lecturer in dance at Roehampton University and trained on a scholarship in New York. Our football scholarship program. Our ambition is to foster a passion for excellence in football. We are committed to nurturing talent and developing raw ability. And we encourage all our young athletes to strive confidently towards self-improvement and excellence in football. The team will receive one hour and 30 minutes of training after school by a Maidstone United coach. They will also enrol in Maidstone United's Player Development Centre, enabling them, enabling them to train and compete against other talented footballers, which is again led by a high quality coaching staff at Maidstone United. Furthermore, scholars will have an extra hour of football built into the curriculum. Additionally, football scholars will represent the school's football team in district matches, as well as the Kent Cup. Fixtures will run throughout the academic year, competing against other competitive schools or colleges. The Football Scholarship Programme also offers students the chance to complete their sports leaders qualification with the aim of them utilising this in the local community. Finally, players will receive a fantastic kit package that they are able to attend school in on their PE days, training or match day. Scholars will receive the following in their kit package. A rucksack, a polo top, training top, shorts, a pair of black socks, a coat and tracksuit bottoms. Our criteria for application is for all applicants to be coachable and willing to quickly implement given feedback. Have an excellent attitude towards learning in their PE lessons. Demonstrate ambition and drive towards achieving a personal or team goal. Be able to make good decisions when under pressure. Be physically resilient and robust. Have positive emotional intelligence and are able to bounce back from setbacks. Be willing to take the lead by example to their peers. Have good communi communication skills, adhere fully to the behaviour policy of the school, have met the academic requirements of the school. The application process will involve all applicants competing in a trial. If you'd like your child to be considered for the programme, please register your interest online on the admissions website. After you have registered, we will make contact to inform you of our scholar days. This day will take place in the summer holidays and all students will have the have the opportunity to audition or try out for any of our scholarship programmes. I'm now going to pass you over to one of our Year 10 students, Asha. Good evening, my name is Asha and I am in Year 10. I'm here to talk to you about transition and what to expect. Not only have I been through transition myself, but I have a brother in Year 7 at Cornwallis and another brother in Year 6. To help get prepared for this speech, I asked my youngest brother what he was worried about. He said he was worried about the size and following the timetable. I'm here to tell you not to worry. 
even though the school seems big, you will quickly get used to it. We are lucky that it's just one building, and no matter what, we'll end up in the heart space. You are probably worried about getting lost, and I can confirm you will. However, there is always a member of staff or students around to point you in the right direction. On my first day, I remember not being sure where we needed to go. I asked a sixth form student and thankfully they pointed me in the right direction. People at our school are always kind and will always help. Also, to help you find your way around during the transition days, there'll be orienteering around the school to help you get used to the building. Some of you may have additional needs and feel concerned about getting the help you need. Although the help you will get look different from primary school, the SEN department are great and everyone gets to learn and feel included. Now I have spoken to you about some of your worries, I'd like to share some of my school highlights. I love it at Cornwallis and I want you to feel excited about joining us. The practical lessons of, such as science are amazing. For one, for, for one example, in one lesson, we set a light to magnesium, which creates a massive white light. We'll learn how to use Bunsen burners, all about acids and alkalides, and all of this in term one of year seven. I have always been a part of the school council since year seven. This is something I really enjoyed. I think it is great that we get to say in what happens at our school. We have managed to implement lots of positive changes, such as timings of lunch, lots on our at the canteen, and more seating areas outside. In conclusion, it is normal to feel nervous about starting a new school but you should also feel excited. Now I'd like to pass over to Adrian Sola. Hello everyone, and particularly the New Year 7s. My name is Adrian Sola and I'm in Year 8. All of you guys made a good decision in choosing to come to Cornwallis. This school is filled with positivity from students to teachers. So you probably already know that secondary and primary school are very different. So I'm here to tell you a bit about what you can expect. There is a lot more homework and grades begin to feel very important. A bit of advice from me to you is to make sure you write all your homework in your planner and check weekly to make sure you don't miss anything. Organisation is important. If you ever have questions about homework, just ask your teachers. They're always happy to help. We are really lucky to have Teams and also Outlook which makes contacting staff really easy. Don't be afraid to ask questions of older students. They're always happy to show you where to go and help you find your classes, even if they seem a bit scary. Some of you might be worried about making friends. This is normal. I came from Oaks Primary and only know two other people starting at the same time as me. I personally think it's nice joining a form group without your current friends in it as this is such a friendly school and it gives you the opportunity to make new friends. You can also think about joining after school clubs and speak to others in a friendly way. This will help you and make your friends with similar interests. There are lots of different clubs to choose from here at Cornwallis. My favourite subjects are Mabel, which stands for Most Able, and Mrs Hallihy has already told you about that, and Art. Art is really creative and there are less restrictions than in primary. You get to gain a really in-depth knowledge and spend time doing subjects you love. One of the best parts of secondary school is that you get to do lots of different subjects weekly. So whether you love art, BT, music or languages, this is a school for you. All that is left for me to say is welcome to Cornwallis and I look forward to seeing you all in September. If you see me around, please come and say hi. I will always be happy to answer any questions. I am Mr Gabell. I am the student support manager for your year group. I look forward to meeting you all in some school um, over some holidays. Hi, I'm Mrs Homemaid and I will be the form tutor for 7K. Hi, I'm Mr Glover and I'll be the form tutor for 7LG. Hi, my name is Mr Arm. And my name is Mrs Sankston. And we'll be your form tutor for 7SR. Uh, hi, I'm Mr Rimmer and I'm going to be a form tutor for 7J. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you have found tonight informative. If you do have any questions, please do use the form next to this video and we will respond as soon as possible. All that's left for me to say is take care and we look forward to seeing you next week either in person or virtually for the transition support meetings. 
and we're so excited to welcome your child into our school community in September. Good night. What church do we have now? What was the church he set up? He started his own church. Thank you. Well done. House Point Seven Yes, yes, 